Hey everyone, this is Bathmetrics, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make Serum's new MPE feature work correctly in Bitwig. I've had a couple of people ask me uh, in a couple of different places, how do you get it to work? I can't get it to work, but it does work. I'm going to demonstrate that and I'll show you how to set it up so that it's just always there and always available and always working correctly. So here's what it sounds like. Alright, so uh, in any of the MIDI editors, when you have MPE enabled, this little button right here for the device, it's going to obey these automation lines that you can put on each individual MIDI note. And it's polyphonic, it's per note, so if you have chord stacks, each note can have completely different pitch movement on it. And it's all done here in the MIDI editor. But to get it to work right, you have to set up Serum correctly and you have to set up Bitwig correctly. So let me walk you through the steps for this. Uh, the first thing to note is that you won't see these automation lines, or rather you won't be able to edit the automation lines in any of the MIDI editor views, unless you click this little button right here called Micro Pitch Expression Editing. So you turn it on and that lets you set um, little waypoints just like any automation line and do whatever you want to draw things together. Which, you know, sounds terrible, but I'm just trying to show you quickly. All right, um, so you can experiment with this and learn how it works, but we'll just focus on this shitty example as uh, <laughs> Just the quickest way to get through this video. I wanna make this video super short. So the things you have to do, aside from toggling this one button so you can actually edit the values per note, um, in Bitwig itself, you need to make sure that when you've loaded up Serum and you click on the Serum container down here, that there's one little button that says use MPE is lit up, okay? So you gotta light it up. Uh, you want the pitch bend range to be plus minus 48. That's what Serum's set to. You can change that in Serum if you want, but by default, it's the same as the Bitwig default, negative plus minus 48 for the bend. So that button has to be lit up. Now in Serum itself, there's a really confusing option here in the global section that says MPE enabled by default. Now this may make a difference for other hardware that does uh, MIDI polyphonic expression, but it does not, Bitwig doesn't know this and Serum doesn't seem to really even react to this. This seems either buggy or I don't understand its behavior, but basically just clicking this box does jack shit. Doesn't do anything, <laughs> at least in, in Bitwig land and apparently to Serum as well. What you need to do instead is click the menu button in Serum, come down here and make sure MPE enabled is actually checked and has a check mark next to it. Okay, and I haven't played with these other things yet. I think there are ways, I think this is mostly important to other hardware keyboards where MPE can do other things. Could be wrong, I just haven't experimented with it yet. Mainly all I care about is the per note pitch automation in Bitwig. So if you do this, that's all you need. Now you can see here that the default bend range is 48. Maybe you can change that, but I don't think there's much need to change that except maybe with specific hardware. So here's the trick. Come into Serum, ignore this global setting. I don't think it does anything. Just come to the menu uh, and, and set MPE enabled, and it's probably good to initialize the Serum. And I always forget how to initialize it because I don't do it this way much. There we go. Okay, so just you know, go to the init preset, come over here, right click, Make sure MPE is enabled. And uh, come over here, it might also remember the state of this button, maybe. That's what we're gonna experiment with, is we're gonna make sure this button's on. So this button's on when I've selected the Serum container. The menu says MPE enabled. And then we're just gonna right click on the Serum container in Bitwig and choose Save as Default Preset. So theoretically, this should make it so that if we delete Serum and go bring in a new instance of Serum,
Okay, you can see that the MPE button is now enabled by default in Bitwig. And if we come over here to the menu, you can see that MPE is enabled by default here. And therefore, if we play this MIDI, pick some other something or other, I don't know, some random thing. Well, that's a terrible one. Okay, so that's how you make it work by default so you don't have to think about it once you've set it up the first time. Now, here's, what's hap here's what happens if you don't set all these things correctly. If you turn off MPE and Bitwig, watch what happens to the uh, pitch bend wheel, the little virtual pitch bend wheel in Serum as it runs through this automation. You're gonna see it move a little bit. Oh, make a liar out of me. Uh, it's probably because I also have this turned on, so let's turn that off. Ah, well, I had some pads that were doing that. Maybe I do that. There we go. So see how it's moving just a tiny bit? It's like if you, it, before the latest version of Serum that actually supported MPE, if you tried using MPE on Serum, all these automation lines would do is kind of affect the pitch wheel and it would do it in very unpredictable ways. Because the pitch bend range is very small here. Let's try kicking the pitch bend range up to 24 on each side. See, you could get a little more bend, but it just wasn't true pitch. You couldn't like, you know, this is supposed to be exactly 12 semitones up. This one's supposed to be exactly five semitones up. This one's supposed to be exactly seven semitones down and so on and it just wouldn't work before. So you have to have this on and you have to have this on. And now. All right, so that's it. Set up Serum, save it as a default, have fun playing with the micro pitch uh, editing feature and uh, learn some new tricks. Take it easy.